Hi there YouTube, today in our weekend project we're gonna build a Macbook from an old Pentium 4 laptop and it's the Jewel, it's a very unknown rare laptop and I have it for a while and so let's go ahead and try to install Mac OS X on this baby. Hi there YouTube, today we're gonna create a Macbook from an old Pentium 4 laptop. You already saw some pictures passing by and we uh, gonna do it on the Jewel. It's a Pentium 4 laptop from very long ago and I thought on this Friday, boring Friday evening, let's make it kind of interesting and let's give ourselves a new little uh, yeah test here and I thought well let's see if we can still create a Macbook from an old Pentium 4 laptop. Okay, welcome back. As you will know, we will now simply create a Mac OS X journal petition. We went to Disk Utilities. Here on top we went to Disk Utilities and now we're gonna erase the drive, okay? We're gonna create a Mac OS X journal petition. We're gonna call this Mac. And then we hit erase. Goodbye, Windows. Goodbye. And we erase. Because I always wanted to make a Mac from this thing. Because it, it kind of looks like a Mac, and I still have some. I still have an Apple sticker, and I, you know is the last thing that I can do for this old system is still give it some some fantastic credits you know before everybody's gonna forget about this laptop everybody already forget about this laptop this was one fantastic laptop long time ago right baby the battery is also dead <laughs> okay we go to next Up here, we select English, license agreement, we agree, we are fully guilty. We select the drive, yeah, and we continue. And now we're gonna hit customize, customize, okay? I don't need no language transitions. I don't need no additional fonts. I don't need no printer drivers, okay though? So now we must look at what to do. Oh my gosh. This is really, really. Um, let's put some Sigma Tel audio support there. Um, Via Sata Ata, I think. Let me see what does it say. Install this patch if you're installing uh, to enforce Sata or Via or Via chip. I don't even know what kind of motherboard this is. I I I bug Intel SS2. If you have Intel SS2 CPU. I think we have Intel SS2 CPU. Otherwise, how would it run? Huh? GMA 900. I don't even know. Oh my gosh. Windows. Wait, hold on, peeps. What is this? Easy install. Click here to basic installation. So. Oh no no no! I'm I'm a scare for that. I don't want to do easy install. I want to first know. Um, let's go back. I want to, I want the system profile. Utilities, system profiler. I want to see what kind of hardware we have here. So let's take a look at that.
There's totally no more support. <laughs> All the sites are are dead that, that can tell us something about this laptop. I, I think I remember this thing had some sys sound card i'm not gonna select any sound card we're just gonna hit the installer so what did we selected we selected intel ss2 the 10.4.6 combo update don't even know why i selected that it said install this patch if you have a intel or amd cpu this will install sim yaza version 1.2 intel decrypted system files and a 10.4 system base system that is not patched for AMD. AMD users will also need to select AMD base system package that will install a Maxis 10.4.5. <sighs> you know what? I'm not, I'm not gonna go for the combo update package. Or maybe I should. Let's go ahead for it. Let's just go. We're gonna try and see where this will let, lead us to. After a very long time, we're almost there, peeps. And uh, I'm letting you see the last percentage. 99. And soon, 100. Optimizing volume Mac 100% complete. So... We're almost there. Time to celebrate, peeps. Although we're not even sure if this thing's gonna boot. There we go. We're gonna help it. So, there we go, my friends. Will this thing boot? Or will it say, You're crazy? Are you crazy? This thing has one gigabyte of memory, oh. One gigabyte of memory. Oh, man. Ah, oh, error. Damn. I don't know what the crap happened, man. I rebooted with the disk. Booted from the disk, gifted no command. And I see some hard disk activity here. You see that? Look. Look at that. Look at that, peeps. We're booting up Mac. We did install it. It just needs the CD to boot. So this thing is still kind of Mac proof. Eh? We'll just leave the CD inside for the time being. This thing won't stay a Mac. It's just for the for the fun. We're seeing and trying to install a Mac on an old Pentium 4. It's not that it's fastest, we can see it already. And I think we have no sound, we have no nothing. Let's take a look at that. The spinning wheel. Still a nice project, I think. To see this old baby, she never thought that she would be running Mac. <laughs> This is the only <coughs> only video on YouTube showing this Mac, this jewel being a sort of Mac booting really slow. I might stop the recording just to let this thing boot easy, so not to embarrass it too much. Oh, we are already there. Um, we can uh, we're gonna set up peeps. We can hear no sound. I might set up some. I don't even know. There you go, baby. It's installed and the mouse is not slow at all. Only thing I need to go and fix now are the drivers for the for the sound. As you can see, uh, 10.4.6, one gigabyte of RAM and 300 megahertz Intel Pentium 4. Well, that is not correct. This is not uh, 300 megahertz, but 
we will forgive the Mac for the specifications. Um, even some more info there. There you can see it. It's been seen as a GMAC ADP2.1 CPU type Intel Pentium 4 mobile CPU. Numbers of CPU 1, CPU speed 300 megahertz, but that is not true. Uh, Cache of the CPU is 512 KB CPU features. Uh, SS2, you see, SS2, SS. A and SS2 is also supported. So maybe this thing could even run 10.5.8 eh? and then we could get the sound to work. So maybe I will do that. Maybe I will just do that. But for now I think this looks beautiful and it deserves the Apple sticker as soon as I fix the sound. Well, what can I say, peeps? We did it. Uh, we installed a Mac on this baby. Uh, in fact, uh, I just should uh, go ahead and fix some drivers, the sound drivers, etc. I might do that, uh, but I'm already thinking of uh, doing an upgrade uh, to go to 10.5.8. Now that I see that 10.4.6 uh, runs fine on this machine, it uh, is also very quick with responding. Uh, I must say, uh, it's not uh, showing me uh, the search, search, search sign all the time. It's really quick. It's really, yeah, beautiful just uh, for the sound. Uh, I could, in fact, install the little USB uh, driver as well for the sound card uh, for USB drivers. You know, if you want to do a thing like this, you must make some compromises and sometimes here and there, you know, cheat a little bit, use a Wi-Fi stick from another fender, the RT2500, the little black stick that I have, I have drivers for it. So I can run, I can let this thing go on the internet, you know. Uh, so in fact, more than that, it's not. So I think it's time again to kill the beats. Are we gonna do that? Of course, together. And uh, take a good last look, cause this is, yeah, the last time that you will see this machine probably ever again running Mac OS X. It's the Jewel Pentium 4. And uh, yeah, there's no battery inside. And we say goodbye. And thank you very much for installing. Let's take another look at that nice little, oh, look at that dock. Eh? Josmith brought it back, eh? this dock. This looks fantastic. Thumbs up there for the Yes team. And uh, yeah, peeps, also for you guys there. Thank you for watching. If you think this video was cool, of course, like, subscribe. Until my next Mac OS X project. There we go. Ooh. That looked so ungrateful. But don't worry. She's going to get an even better operating system.